Welcome to Bikini Bottom Supplement Kitchen Special Edition. <laughs> Today we've got what we got? Fuck if I know. We've got this Aggressive Labs Leather Phase Two. Two. You know how they had all those movies? They had like the sequels. This is the sequel to the horror film. Uh, yeah, it's still got that ugly motherfucker on it there. Hell yeah. But let's get. Leatherface <laughs> part two in the house. We got that uh, green apple flavor or something like that. I think. Green apple. He, he is so famous, they put his face on the front of this. Can you That's believe right. it? God. Had to send over a lot of pictures. Yeah, you can see it's uh, green. And I don't know if it's just like moisture getting in here, or if it's something that they have in there as like a flavor crystal coloring. But there's little like green, sh like glass shard looking things. It's weird. I mean, maybe it's a setup to kill us. That would make sense. It could be. They do some crazy stuff. Um, but yeah, powder. Cool. Uh, let's see here. Let's go right into these directions. Mix one level scoop in 12 to 16 ounces of cold water and stir until powder is dissolved. Consume 35 minutes prior to resistance endurance training. New users should start with half a scoop initially in order to assess tolerance. Never exceed one scoop in a 24-hour period. Damn. Simple. Uh, yeah. Well, if you're new or whatever, we did the original other phase um, a couple weeks ago. Stuff was freaking awesome. Yeah. For stem junkies only. Yeah. Sorry. For sure. <laughs> Let's get into flavor. Green apple. Some green shit. Yeah. It looks like leather nose part two. <laughs> looks like leather face broke down. He emptied his fucking car out. <laughs> It does smell very green. It actually smells just green like a green apple, apple Jolly, Jolly Rancher. Rancher. Yeah. Smells good. Cool. So flavor on the green apple of Leather Phase 2. What you got? Listen. Go to your closest neighborhood grocery store. Candy section, Jolly Ranchers, pick out all the green ones, put two in your mouth, same flavor. Sure. Yeah, yeah I agree. Or it's like that Granny Smith apple, just a little sweeter. Yeah. Yeah. But it's green apple candy. If you like green apple, this is for you. It's really good. I'm not going to yeah. lie. Yeah. I've had a couple green apples, and this is definitely kind of a top tier. Yeah. I would agree. It's good. And with the chunk issue, I didn't... There's no, Yeah. I no, it all broke up smooth. fine. I think it's... Some type of flavor or just moisture coloring or something, who knows? So, flavor's good. Yep, I don't know what other flavors they have, but this is on their website, so you can go check it out. Label time reading rainbow. Oh, shit. here we go. They could have made the label not fucking metallic. <laughs> you All can right. pick it up if it, it'll change in the light, probably. Maybe. But then I gotta look at myself. Uh, five grams of L citrulline. Pumps. Five grams of beta alanine. Strength and endurance plus itchies. Three grams of creatine monohydrate. Muscle building. Make your muscles feel full. One gram of agmatine sulfate. Pumps and endurance. 500 milligrams of n l tyrosine Brain gains. 500 milligrams of caffeine anhydrous. Energy. Two amino so heptane. It's the one. DMA like. It's like. Dynamic. It's like. Two hundred milligrams of theo bromine HCL. 
energy. 500 milligrams of choline bitarate. How much? 50 milligrams. What'd I say? Yeah, 50 milligrams of choline bitarate. Focus. And 5 milligrams of yohimbine HCL. Mm. And uh, for those of you that don't know, all these ingredients that had HCL listed after them, that stands for hardcore lifters. That's fair. So, yeah. At least it's not ACL. Like something you can tear. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> well, anyways, there's the label. Um, if you, we'll throw up the old label too. You can kind of see the difference um, in the two. It's still got the, the caffeine, uh, same amount of caffeine. I, I believe most everything's similar except for the, um, the two aminos, which switched from straight DMAA to this DMAA-like no stimulant. No more DMAA. So. R.I.P. Performance on Leatherface 2, brother. You um, you know, going based off our, our previous review on the first gen, I don't think this is quite what the first one was because the first one had the DMAA. It's just a whole other ball game. But with that being said, this is still a really good pre workout. Um, you have plenty of energy, plenty of focus, plenty of strength. You know, very well rounded. Uh, you don't really run into any crazy issues. You do have, I got a little bit of an energy crash a couple hours after. Um, but anytime you're drinking 500 milligrams of caffeine, you're going to run into that. Yeah, uh, I agree for the most part. Yeah, you do get that energy with the 500 milligrams of caffeine. I mean, focus, endurance, it's all there. You have a great, it, it's a great formula for a great workout in my opinion yeah um for stem junkies that is right let me throw that out there and with, with the energy and the, and the hardcore working out i believe it, i get i got the crash as well it's like your body just just wants to shut down yeah. i don't know if it's from the the ingredients or just from the performance aspect that it gives you yeah. to where you're elevating your your workout yeah um because you're going to be, when you take this, I mean, you're going to want to be lifting hard. Yeah. I don't know about taking this before work. Because I feel like if you hit that crash, you're going to need something else to. Yeah, yeah. Pick you'll you not back work out up. in the morning. And yeah, you'll right. need something, coffee or bang, <sighs> something. But there's that. I mean, uh, it's good. I mean, I think it's, it's good. The crash is yeah. the only thing that got to me personally. And I felt but, it more than once. You know, I think that's a sacrifice. Yeah. Me personally, I'm willing to to make yeah because you're getting so much performance out of this I agree so on to ratings mixability 10 I didn't have yeah didn't have 10 mix up good uh, flavor for the green apple I'm gonna give this a 9 I really liked it yeah I'll go with a 9 as well um, performance um I think probably say like a like an 8 and a half 9 which number you gave to eight seventy five? Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably probably eight and a half because of that weird crash at the end. Yeah. Um, but if you're taking it at night, then that's that'll work out perfect for you. To be honest yeah. with you. Yeah. If you're um, taking it around five o'clock. Yeah. But eight and a half. That's what I thought. Yeah. Overall, on the leather phase sequel. Uh, nine. Yeah, nine. Say nine's fair. So there's that. There's our thoughts on the leather phase part two, the sequel of this horrific pre-workout experience, <laughs> I have to say. Um, but if you want to check out the first review, which I don't know where you can really get the first one anymore. Um, I'm sure there's probably some sites, eBay. Somebody, yeah. um, you can go back, check it out. Best of luck. Yeah. <laughs> And first, we want to thank these guys of Aggressive Labs for giving us the opportunity to test this really out and get it out. It up, yeah. yeah, appreciate it. We'll tag them up here. Be sure to follow them on Instagram. Head over, check out their shop. You can actually get this on their website. Um, don't know what the price point is. I forget it. Maybe like 45 bucks uh, or something like that. U.S. dollars if you're in Japan. Yeah. Um, who knows? So there's that. Anyways, guys, we're done. Later.